Hey Smitty, what do you say? Hey, what's the weather today? Guys, I'm at the Science and Engineering Expo right now. I'm touching Einstein's hair. Einstein, can you tell me your secret to your luscious locks? It depends on how I sleep at night. Okay, I'm here with Krishnan Srinivas. Can I just call you Chris? Probably what they call Google it. They have me knocking. You got a paradox and a... Uh, and a pair of socks. What was that you just said? <laughs> Do these ever creep you out? <laughs> um, eh, I can see how it could be cute. Uh, who is your favorite scientist besides yourself? Oh, Isaac Newton. Beyond a doubt, Sir Isaac Newton. I met Sir Isaac Newton. I'm here with... Sir Isaac Newton? From Lincolnshire, England. Are, are you a ghost right now? Well, I seem to have somehow transported the temporal <laughs> binds that usually affect people who die. And what do you think of The Walking Dead? What? <laughs> you have Bigfoot's toothbrush here? It's a little bit large, but the kids love it. You can line them all up and brush them all at once. <laughs> when I was learning meteorology, I wasn't really that great at it. And Schmitty always rescued me to help me do the weather. So she became the weather dog that way. But Schmitty has a nose for the weather. Do you guys smell that? She's never been spayed, so. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even deal with it. Schmitty, what is the weather going to be like today, little guy? Having your videos are not funny. That's right, Schmitty. What is the name of this little guy back here? Robot is called Art. Can we change his name to Kevin? What's Kevin's main uh, uh, positive attribute? I'm hardworking and friendly. Time to sing a song about Schmitty. Oh! Oh, come on, girls. Oh! Hey Smitty, what do you say? Hey, what's the weather today? Will it be sunshine? Will it be fog? Smitty, oh the weather dog. Softer, softer. Smitty, oh the weather dog. Softer, softer. Smitty, oh the weather dog. Now real loud, real loud. Smitty, oh the weather dog. You want to do the song again? I was never abusive, but I was just not there. That's what my teachers say about me during class sometimes. It is a compass, but as well a sundar. So I use this to find what time it is. So north, like that. How long does it take you to check time? The rays of light are cast down against that string and create a shadow on the numbers. Six and a half hours later. And you can tell the time of the morning till the sun releases itself tonight again. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to have zombies in it if it's my movie. And yeah, it tracks your sleep, you know, gives you a sleep score and tells you how you can analyze your sleep. You're running a promotion here, come check us out, alright? How much is that going to cost me? I don't know that you can truly have the weight of the purse to afford it just now. Is it because I'm wearing socks and sandals? How did we match today? This is like the ultimate style that's going on right now. I like sandals. What does your wife think about it? I pretend not to know him. Everybody clap! Please donate. Help him find a home. Can you explain to the internet what you did to your eye? By putting a rather large bodkin or a needle as far back in my eye as I possibly could and pressed upon it whereby it caused strange colored lights to be visible. My hair was down and when I seen your shirt it brightened my day. I don't have very many friends. I'll be his friend. Well thank you very much. Mommy. If you could create your own science fiction movie what would the title be and what would it be about? Godzilla teeth. And it would be about a big set of teeth going around and chomping people. The beast that ate Robert Hooke. I hate that little man. Little hunchback from London. Isaac Newton had some difficulties in his personality, but... It would be called Boogers in the Moon. It would be about aliens who come to Earth by landing on the moon first and firing giant boogers at the planet. Thank you so much for your time, it's Einstein. Would you rather have a potato or Donald oh. Trump as a president? Um, you're in my giant mouse cage. And then blow out in a gigantic oh. explosion. Do you watch Game of Thrones? I watch games. 